Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Until the Ribbon Breaks. How have you been? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? I'm great. Last time we spoke was back in January, mm -hmm. and now you are touring across North America. So, yep. how's this been treating you? Amazing. It's our, I think, third tour of uh, the North America. Uh, we love it. You know, touring is a huge part of what we do. Um, I think this is our third time in Toronto, and it's always a pleasure for sure. And this is a headlining show. It in is. Which you're touring in support of your debut record, A Lesson Unlearned. Yep. So, which songs off of the record at the moment do you enjoy playing the most? Well, the kind of the the beauty of playing this record live in particular is it very much started as a studio-based project, uh, and I had no idea how we were going to even take it on the road or play it live. So the songs have kind of completely changed um, from playing them live. And there's a lot where we all play the drums now live, and one of them is Romeo, which I really enjoy playing live. Well, just as far as the actual music side of things. I know that you recently teamed up with Years and Years for the series you have going on, the yeah. Reimagination series. So just tell our viewers a little bit about why you initially started this whole thing. Um, I think, you know, there's a huge culture of remixing. Um, and I guess, I think it can be a really interesting thing to do. If you to, uh, But what we wanted to do is only ever take the vocal, you always get sent all the parts for a song and we only ever ask for the vocal so that way we we try not to listen to the original piece of music first so we don't even know what we're kind of comparing it to and then we just put that into um, the music and then try and completely recreate a new world around it which is why I guess we call them reimaginations because we ha we're not essentially remixing the original yeah so they're always interesting Something I personally love about the series is you could have easily called them covers, sent them out to your fans, and that's that. But you make it a real uh, collaborate, collaborative process oh, as cool. far as doing it with artists go. So for each artist, what does each person kind of have to put into it to get the final product? Well, as I said, we just get sent. Um, the, I kind of We've been really lucky in that they have not just been kind of management label uh, jobs. You know, we've always had a relationship with the artists. And I think that that makes a, a huge difference when you're working together. There's a lot of music, too much music these days, which is across the internet and emails. And so, you know, like for my favorite one, I think is the Sam Smith one. And I've uh, been a friend of Sam for a while. So that was really nice to try and put his song in a whole different world and do that. So yeah, They've, we've been lucky. Who are some artists that you kind of would love to do this kind of uh, reimagination with? I really like working with rappers. Um, because you can, underneath rap, you don't have to think about a song or a structure or chord sequence. You can just really, really reimagine something, you know? And I think rap is so versatile in terms of wh where it could go or what music it can sit on top of. So, I, you know, I'm a massive fan of Kendrick Lamar and people who are kind of pushing the genre further. So, um, Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> and last month, you actually tweeted about how there are some new, you're laying down some new tracks. Mm -hmm. So, being that the record was released earlier this year, is this for a new album, an EP? What's kind of going on on that front? Um, I, <laughs> I had to write something on Facebook earlier that I apologised for um, posting up new lyrics and stuff because it, it's going to be a long time until there's another record, but I kind of like to post things up as I go. I just get a bit overexcited, I think. <laughs> um, but we're making another record, you know, we're really excited about it. At any time we're not touring, we're in the studio, so... Who knows when, but it will it will happen. Do you know at all when people might be able to get a taste of something new, or is it all just I have the flow? no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I told you that I did. Something admirable I've noticed a lot is with your social medias. You respond to fans with a lot of ridiculous questions, a lot of really heartfelt things. Like you guys are great on your socials. Oh, thank you. And I know you stay after shows to meet people, which mm -hmm. not every band does. And as a fan, being one myself, that's amazing. Oh, so thanks. As far as memorable moments goes, what's one that you know you'll never forget with a fan that you could share with our viewers? We played a show in um, in Paris earlier this year, and for me it was. I, I, I'm always surprised wherever we come, especially because we've so far we've toured so far from where we're from, that I'm always surprised that people know our music and that it's kind of spread as far as it has. 
And so I was amazed that people in Paris knew the music and people in France knew the music. But at the end of the show, um, a girl came up to me and said, kind of in a hurry, saying, can you sign this record? I've got to go, I've got to go. And I was like, well, why are you in such a rush? Whoa. <laughs> And she was like, because I flew from Mexico today to come and see this show in wow. Paris, and I'm flying back tonight. She thought, they're never going to come to Mexico, so I'll have to go to Paris to see them, and that just blew my mind. That's amazing. Yeah. Are there any plans to go to Mexico? Yeah, we'd love to go. We would love to go. So hopefully we can return the favor. Very nice. We'll mm -hmm. strap everything up here today because I know you probably want to grab some grub before you have a nice, awesome yeah. show to play tonight in Toronto. <laughs> uh, what would you say is the best part about being in Until the Ribbon Breaks? The best part of being in Until the Ribbon Breaks is being in Until the Ribbon Breaks. <laughs> Very well put. Very well put. <laughs> you know, it's I can never... Um, if I ever hear myself moan or complain about what I do or being tired or on the road or whatever, I try and give myself a slap on the wrist because we're lucky, you know, for sure. I just want to say congrats on everything. Oh, thank Massive you. thank you for Thanks your time me. today. We nice really to do appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. And remember, everyone, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for exclusive interviews and features with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time. Bye.